Our next speaker will be Honorable Miriam Blanchard, Minister for Public Works and Ports. We now welcome her to the podium to address you. Thank you, Kavsek. <clears throat> Honorable <clears throat> Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica, my other cabinet colleagues, Your Excellency Li Zhangwing, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Commonwealth of Dominica, Your Excellency Steve Ferrell, <clears throat> Ambassador and Secretary to the Cabinet, Permanent Secretaries, other invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me great pleasure to be part of, this, of today's ceremony that will mark the official commencement of the West Coast Road Rehabilitation Project. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are about to witness this morning is a continuation of the relentless efforts and commitment of this government to forge forward with the rehabilitation of our beautiful island, Dominico following the devastation caused by Tropical Storm Erica last August. Allow me to first put this ceremony into context. The government of Dominico, having established diplomatic relations with the government of the People's Republic of China more than a decade ago, has to date collaborated on a number of political, economic, and social programs of mutual interest. Today, I stand here in the, presence of, in the presence of Ambassador Li, who is representing the government of the People's Republic of China, one of the most powerful countries in the world. Indeed, as the second largest economy, China is expected to play an increasingly important and defining role in the global economy. So while some may question the wisdom of our visionary leader, in establishing diplomatic relations with China. Today we stand firm with one of our strongest allies as we recognize, applaud, and are thankful for our alliance with this great nation. <clears throat> with the signing of the letters of exchange, we will witness the further strengthening of the relationship between our two governments. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that this Dominica Labour Party, led by Dr. The Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, showed great foresight in establishing this relationship. The old adage, a friend in need is a friend indeed, immediately comes to mind when I think of the relationship of this government with the government and people of the People's Republic of China. It is said that a friend who stands by you in good times and bad times is one to be cherished. There is absolutely no doubt that the government of China has been and continues to be a true friend to the government and people of Dominica. And I say this because history has shown that the government of China has never hesitated to offer assistance to us, not only when disaster strikes, but also in normal times. And the evidence of this abounds. Certainly, a review of the physical infrastructure on the island would reveal a very visible representation of the collaboration of our two countries, as several major infrastructural projects implemented over the last decade were as a result of the generosity of that government in the form of grant, and in other cases, concessional financing from the Export Import Bank of China. And we all know what these projects are, but for emphasis, I will list some of them. We remain extremely grateful for the assistance provided for the construction of the Windsor Park Sports Stadium, the new Dominica Grammar School, the West Coast Road Rehabilitation, the State House Expansion Project, the Dominica State College, the Newtown Primary School and housing projects. In addition, we received 2,500 solar lights from the Chinese government. At this point, allow me, Excellency, to express publicly once more the gratitude of this government and the citizens of Dominico for the invaluable contribution of your government to the development of our country and, by extension, the lives of all of us residing in Dominico through the improvements noted in the physical infrastructure. 
As this government pursues in earnest the rebuilding of our island, embracing the concept of building back better to ensure the reconstruction of a more resilient physical infrastructure, the rehabilitation of the West Coast or the EO Libla Highway will mark yet another one of our major projects. To many drivers and pedestrians who traverse the West Coast Road, I wish to thank you for your patience. Today's ceremony is a testament to the fact that your government understands the need to place the rehabilitation of that highway as a priority project, and this is why we are here today. However, I wish to call on citizens to be even more patient, as it will take some time between today's ceremony and the actual commencement of works. Shortly, we will sign letters of exchange that lay out in brief the commitments of our respective governments as it relates to the execution of this major project, that is, its implementation modalities and financing. Again, through the generosity of our friends, citizens of this country will witness the rebuilding of damaged sections of the West Coast Road. Indeed, this is being done as a culmination of an engagement of officials representing both countries since Dominica was struck by that horrendous storm, Erica. And this assistance is forthcoming in spite of, our, of their own challenges. The road project will include the following. Replacement of bridges destroyed at Makushri, Batali, and Point Round, as well as a reconstruction of wing walls and railings for the bridge crossing at Kulibistri. Rehabilitation of culvert crossings and drainage infrastructure at Meru, Makushri, Sorsbury, Batali, Kulibistri, and Picard in Portsmouth. Some slope civilization will also be included. Repair of damaged sections of the road surface in identified areas, including the Jimit Petrocari Bay Junction, Taru, St. Joseph, Mero, Makushri, Sorsbury, Batali, and Scola, Biosh, and Dublin. Replacement of traffic signs, road markings, and reflective road studs will also be included. Your Excellency, please convey to your government our tremendous gratitude for the continued support of this government's development program and, more recently, our rebuilding program. The government of Dominica thanks you for your, this vital support in rebuilding a most critical component of our, of our infrastructure since without good roads, economic activity and the safe movement of our people would be severely compromised. Dominica continues to stand steadfast in support of the One China policy, and we will continue to strengthen the bonds of our relationship with you. May God bless our efforts, our people, and our friends. I thank you.